Watch you guys, I've had a video request from one of my YouTube uh, viewers called John McGregor. He wants me to make a video on Hitman Pro's new uh, Kickstarter program that's uh, built into it. And now we're going to be having a look at how to use this to remove uh, any type of ransomware from your system. It's a new tool that's been integrated into uh, Hitman Pro and you can build a USB uh, thumb drive with it and it will actually bypass and remove it. So let's have a look at it in action and uh, see if we can get this working okay. So what is ransomware? Well ransomware is what you can see on the screen right now. Now there's different types of ransomware, they're all police related, they're all demanding money and uh, they use Ucash, um, all these types of money pack, uh, pay safe cards, uh, FBI, Reviton, uh, Reviton, all these different types of uh, ransomwares you will see. Okay, they're British ones, uh, Greece, you name it, they're all over the place. And uh, they can be quite uh, troublesome to remove if you don't know what you're doing. So what we're going to do is have a look at the new program to remove this. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to need to do this is a clean machine. Now that is the first probably little downfall side of it. If you haven't got another machine to hand, then you're going to be scuppered really, and you're going to have to use other alternative methods. But here, we have got our drive, thumb drive in the actual machine here. Okay, this is an empty thumb drive, that's a USB thumb drive. And what we're going to do is uh, download Hitman Pro. Now you go to Hitman Pro's website here, you can download this click on the download tab here and you can see uh, the new version you just pick which version you want 32-bit or 64-bit and then you also can have a look at the actual user manual here some other facts here if you wish so I'm going to click on the 32-bit version here I'm going to let that download close this off here. I'm going to drag this onto my desktop. Now I've got my USB thumb drive already plugged in so what I'm going to do is just click on this say yes there. Now from here you can normally run scans from here but you won't be able to do that on a, an infected machine because it blocks you out so you need a clean machine to actually do this so what we can see here is a little tab here and it says create Hitman Pro kickstart USB flash drive click on that it should detect your USB flash drive if it doesn't then there's something not right you need to unplug it and plug it back in again and then you should see this symbol I'm going to click on this and then once you click on that it will say install kickstart click on install it's going to warn you that everything is going to be uh, formatted on that pen drive so if you've got anything on there that you wish to keep then say no and back up that stuff before you format because once you click yes it's all going to be gone so we're going to click yes here it's going to download some stuff off their uh, server and it's going to start right into the pen drive Now it's copying the 64 bit across. Okay, so now that's all completed. I'm going to close this off. Close that off. And inside our pen drive, we'll have all our information from this actual uh, Hitman Pro program. Now what we need to do now is boot up to our infected machine with the ransomware on it and I'll have a look at that in a second and then we'll use the pen drive and then I'll show you how to get around it. Okay so here we are on our system we've got our uh, ransomware installed on the system and uh, you know how these work basically you just put the key code in well, that's what they want you to do and they want you to submit this to actually pay for it uh, but it is all fake and uh, we're not going to be doing that um, so what we're going to do is uh, remove this using uh, Hitman Pro's Kickstart tool. Now you see me create that in the beginning of the video. So what we're going to do is make sure that's in the actual drive. And then change the boot order inside the uh, BIOS there to boot to CD-ROM. So let's uh, restart the system and uh, remove this from the system. 
Okay, so once you've got into the BIOS by either tapping on F2 or delete key at the beginning of your boot, what you need to do here is just select with your cursor keys the boot tab here and then highlight your USB thumb drive and whatever that is to bring that up to the top, whichever keys it may be, either the plus or the minus or the F6 and uh, F5 to go up and down and then you just get that to where you need to and then you click on F10 to save now and then click yes. So once you get this uh, screen up what you need to do here is select number one and if you're having trouble doing that you can select number two. And we just let this load in. Now you may see the actual ransom for a split second and then the kickstart should hopefully fire up. Okay so there you see the ransomware flash on the screen and then now we're in Hitman Pro kickstart mode and all we need to do here is run a scan. And it's going to run a scan and uh, use all these tools here, Bitdefender, Dr. Webs, and uh, so on. So we're going to go next here, accept the agreement. I'm just going to do one scan here of, of uh, this machine. We'll just let this scan run. and you can see it's already found it this is the actual culprit that's causing the problem and there's one there as well which is the run and once we've done that we click on next and uh, you need to get the uh, free license it's now activated and we can now proceed to remove those from the system. Now we're going to click on reboot here. Just let Windows start up here and hopefully that's the end of that ransom. And there we go, that's actually removed that from the system and we're now back up and running. So that's uh, basically that one, how you use Kickstart to remove ransomwares from the system. Now this will work with other types of ransomwares as well. Now obviously if it doesn't detect it, it could be a new variant or something like that and you may need to use another method. It's a pretty handy little tool if you're dealing with these types of uh, ransomwares on a daily basis as a technician or if you're a home user it's always nice to have that Kickstarter uh, on a USB flash drive now you can pick these flash drives up pretty cheap nowadays and it's always useful to have one of these on your pen just in case you get infected and it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run rather than taking it to a technician okay so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos hit that subscribe button guys and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoyed them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now I want to wish everyone uh, part of my YouTube channel uh, a very Merry Christmas and, uh, and a Happy New Year and I'll be making more videos again in the future. Now I may put the odd one up now and again if I've got time over the Christmas period. If not, I'll see you when I make the next one. Okay, so thanks again and thanks for your support. Bye for now.